they think that somehow I get annoyed that the market cap of Doge is higher than the market cap of Cardano. It doesn't really affect me. I don't really care. My concern is rather the holders of Doge having unrealistic expectations and the existential threat the failure of Doge will have upon the cryptocurrency space. When you talk about a smart contract system, what you're basically doing is saying that that system, those tokens do something. So for example, with Ethereum, people buy Ether to pay for transaction fees. Okay, so there's there's stuff that you do with it. There's DEXs and DAOs and stable coins and so forth. There's real utility there. So when someone buys Ether, they may be purchasing Ether not with an expectation that Ether is going to go up 100x, but purchase Ether with an expectation that they're going to use that for some application, maybe to buy a crypto kitty or maybe to do some cool new thing. When someone buys Doge, if you look at the commentary of the community, 99% is we're going to get rich. The only way you get rich with Doge is if you take your Dogecoin and sell it to someone else. So that other person, you have to ask, why are they buying it? Are they purchasing that because they intend on using it for something? Or are they purchasing that uh, because they want to get a 10x? If that mentality persists, there's only so many doublings you can have before it doesn't happen anymore, and then a panic sale happens. And if you look at the distribution of the coin, over 90% of the holdings are held by less than 1% of the participants. So at any time, a cascading failure can happen, and the people who are selling are always in the money. So whether they sell Doge at 60 cents or one cent, they make a huge profit. And that's a very bad situation to be in. So catastrophic failure is the most likely outcome here as people with wildly unrealistic expectations and very limited experience investing acquire these assets. And then once the failure occurs, their opinion of the entire industry will be the same as Bill Mars, the same as a lot of people in the mainstream like Charlie Munger. It's a scam. It's a Ponzi scheme. There's no use in utility. It's not a real thing. I intend on being in this industry for decades. As you guys saw with the Africa special, promise is delivered. We have 5 million people who are coming into our ecosystem now. And for years of their lives, they're connected to this blockchain and growing with it as more services are enabled. That's one deal. Many more are coming. So I don't like things that destroy the reputation of my industry, make my job harder, and ultimately harm people. I really, really don't. And it's my belief that what's going on with Doge is A, not sustainable, B, will result in a systemic catastrophic failure of that cryptocurrency, and C, create millions of people who are disillusioned, disenfranchised, and remember where we're at, our political environment. Let no crisis be to waste. People will come in and use that as an excuse to put the heavy hand of regulation in our industry, favoring large corporations, governments, and hurting smaller companies and you, the end consumer. If your intention is that every time you download a cryptocurrency wallet, you have to identify yourself and have a bank account to link to it, and that's a great idea. Go down this road because that's what you're creating. If your intention is that there are severe restrictions on your ability to buy and hold a cryptocurrency in a regulated marketplace, then keep doing what you're doing because that is what the counter reaction will be if there's a hundred billion dollar asset that collapses. You don't believe me? Look at the failure of Enron and Sarbanes Oxley as an example. Every time scandal or major collapse happens in a marketplace, usually that is followed up by an overreaction and regulation, which seldom corrects the problem and often is used to destroy competition and benefit insiders. I endured and lived through bit license. Many of you listening are from New York. And you always ask, why is this asset not listed on exchange here? Why is it so hard for me to do something in the cryptocurrency space here? Well, you have your answer bad regulation. And these types of existential problems in the industry create that.